Polecats were once widespread throughout Great Britain, but due to heavy persecution from gamekeepers, they declined everywhere, except for a small population in North Wales. They're making a steady recovery and can now be found throughout most of Wales. They have also recolonised both Scotland and England. Only small populations have been found in Scotland, whereas in England they have spread into the Midlands, as far north as the southern fringes of Manchester and as far south as Wiltshire. Some are being illegally released across various parts of the UK. Polecats are found in various habitats, including woodland, river valleys and farmland. They have long, dark fur on their upper side, which can give a purple sheen in certain light. In the winter, the yellow under fur gives a distinctive luster, as it shows through the sparser, darker hair of the outer coat, which gives it a black and tan appearance. The muzzle, ear tips and eyebrows are pale, and there is a broad, dark band across the eyes, extending to the top of the rostrum, which is also dark. The rostrum is the bridge above the nostrils. They have dark legs and a fluffy tail, Females are smaller and darker than the males. The polecat is an ancestor of the domestic ferret and the two can interbreed. It is important to rule out hybrids. Ferrets and hybrids are usually paler and have a less contrasting face pattern. Polecats are mostly active at night, with rabbits being a favoured food source. They will also take rodents, birds, fish, snakes and frogs. A foul smell is emitted from their anal glands when frightened or injured in an attempt to deter predators. They produce one litter of between five and ten kits each year between May and early June. Droppings are long and usually green-brown in colour. They smell very unpleasant. Footprints are often confused with mink and complete prints are rarely found.